Hello again, I'm Mike Mazzalongo and this is the Bible Talk video blog. Today's blog entry is entitled, In Defense of Martha. Well, I believe that Martha has gotten a bad rap as far as Bible characters go. The most quoted reference about Martha is where Jesus gently admonishes her concerning this good woman's frustration at not receiving help from her sister Mary in serving their guests. This story is recorded in Luke chapter 10, verse 40, 41, and has become for many the defining image of this woman, a worrier, a person consumed with tasks, and a disciple not attuned to the spiritual things like her sister Mary. Martha was probably the older of the two because she is always mentioned first when referring to the sisters, and Luke says that Martha welcomed Jesus into her house, a note identifying her as the woman of that home, a likelihood that her mother was dead and she had charge of the house in caring for her brother Lazarus, sister Mary, and possibly her father Simon. We read about that in Mark chapter 14, verses three to nine. In addition to this, John said that Jesus loved Martha and her sister, John 11, verse five. The community shared in her sorrow, John 11, verse 19. Uh, she was the first to approach Jesus concerning her brother, John 11, verse 20. She also confessed that she believed Jesus was the Messiah, John 11, verse 27, and was at her usual place serving guests when Jesus and the resurrected Lazarus ate at her house. John chapter 12, verses one and two. Now, I mention all of this to show that Martha was a valuable and beloved disciple within Jesus' circle of ministry, despite her failure to grasp what was truly important at times. You know, we have many Martha types in the church, godly people who serve quietly in so many ways. They prepare and serve food at funerals and keep the building functioning. They teach children, they balance the books, visit the sick, greet the visitors, they prepare communion, they mail our Bibles, they lock the door, send cards, and find the time to organize activities, all the while maintaining families and careers. They rarely receive accolades or recognition, but without the Marthas, many congregations would sputter to a stop. So thank you, Martha. Thank you for all you do in all your quiet ways. Maybe you get a little stressed at times and miss out on what's important because you focused on what is urgent, but as the Bible says, Jesus loved Martha and we do too. Well, that's it for now. Uh, I'm Mike Mazzalongo and you've been watching the Bible Talk video blog. We'll see you next time, bye-bye.